Hello again, squaddies, and welcome back to the Shattered Isles. Once again, we are on the Sovereign's Throne. This time, we're going to be hunting the Thornbound Charog. But I'm doing this a bit differently. I mentioned this last week with the uh, Thornbound Shrike. I decided, because the Thornbounds are actually not any super dangerous, any more super dangerous than anything else, or than their Maelstrom cousins, this is actually the Thornbound Charog on Heroic. Now, there are a couple of big differences, and I'm not 100%... Yeah, I'll, I'm going to admit now, I have yet to actually face the Firebrand Charog, which is the Maelstrom equivalent. Also, I'm sorry if the frame rate goes all over the place. I'm trying a new recording trick with this. Anyway, having never faced the Firebrand Charog, I'm not 100% certain on how its tricks are different from the regular Charog or from the Thornbound. However, I have seen a couple of things. Let's see, there are actually seven different, seven big differences. One of them is actually a really big issue that I'll talk about when we get to it, if we get to it. Although we do have somebody with a sword, so yeah, you could probably guess what I mean by that. It's a problem with the cutting off the tail. Now, last time I thought it, it was right there, but it's not this time, so. Anyway, uh, a couple of the differences. First off, the fireball attack, where it launches a fireball from its mouth that tracks down slayers. The fireball seems to go a bit faster and has a better tracking ability, from what I've seen. Also, and I'm not sure if this next part is in the normal Charog, or if it's only in the Firebrand and the Thornbound, it doesn't collide with the Charog anymore. It will actually go under it or through it, so you can actually... Not, so you can't really steer it into the Charog anymore. Which is annoying, but you can still steer it into like terrain. Next up, the and this is a this is one of the bigger changes that I saw that I've seen. There it is, actually. The fire vents that it does. It can do things beyond turn in place now. It will actually move and do other attacks, which makes it quite a bit more dangerous. Uh, the Inferno Circle at the end of the Enrage the. All that happen all that's different is the fireballs move faster. The tail swipe, where it sweeps its tail from side to from one side to the other. Uh, it can now follow that up with a lunging attack. Oop, that was the wrong key. I'm gonna hit X and draw my draw my spear. No real difference to the fire mortars. The tail slam as well. There. There's the lunge, you see. I'm actually also trying to avoid this fireball that's after me. The fist slam you saw. The thornbound at least does the bomb the bomb pods after it after it does that. Now the tail slam, it can also follow it up with a tail swipe. There, you see it actually hitting me with the... Luckily, I didn't get hit with the head, I got hit with the leg. I'll talk about why that's important in just a second. Oh yeah, there you go. It actually does... It, the tail slam now does two slams, one where, it, one where it was aiming for, one to the side, and then it does the tail swipe. That's the... That is the big difference in how the tail slam now works for the heroic Charog. This slam we already saw, that's just on the third bound. The special note that I was talking about... Is when you break this. Is when you break this Charog's tail. Okay, first off, yeah, I got hurt really badly there because the Thornbound. I'll talk about the what the Thornbound does in just a second. Oh, fun thing about the fireballs. You can actually use your. Un, you can actually use your uh, down teammates to block them. I did that when I was testing out the abilities of this thing. But anyway, the Thornbound Charog. Uh, the tail and head have thorns. You can tell. They, t they deal extra damage if you get hit by them, and they cause wounding. So that's why I took such a huge amount of damage a second ago. Okay, here come the... F yeah, there's the flame vents. They still act the same in terms of range during, uh, during regular battle and during the enrage. But when... Like I said, it it's it's actually able to 
see it's moving forward. It couldn't do that before. And it can also do other attacks, as you're about to find out. Oh, or not, actually. It didn't do anything. Eh, just a simple lava, uh, lava mortar. Or fire mortar. Whoa! Oh. I'm gonna actually hide back here. Luckily, the charg released that directly into it. But yeah. Uh, like I was saying, if we break the tail, the tail slam actually becomes a bit more dangerous because it gains a new attack if you break its tail, which is the first time I've seen that in a in a behemoth. We're still going to aim to break its tail because it's that disables a couple of its attacks. Also, I forgot to mention, with Thornbound, it takes less damage if you're hitting its head or tail. There's the Enrage, which of course makes it faster, stronger, and just all around more pissed off. <laughs> we should still be okay, because I fought, when I fought this thing earlier, it was uh, two of us took it down. It took us the better part of 20 minutes, but... With Bomb Pods, you can actually dodge them just by moving. You don't have to do anything special for it. He is going over there. You can also attack the fireball, the the fireballs that you see. Oh god, I just went down hard. Like I was saying, you can attack the fireballs, but I wouldn't recommend it. <coughs> hopefully this. Hopefully, hopefully I get rezzed soon. Is the charg is also sitting on me. Oh, he got me. Oh, wow, he actually got me up to full health. Okay, uh, one big difference about the heroic as well is that the fire is that the fire it lights you on will actually do more damage and last longer. Take a swig real quick. There, you can actually see it doing different attacks beyond just walking in a circle with the fire vents up. I'm just going to stand up here until that fireball's gone. You know what? I do actually have the transfusion grenades, I just haven't equipped them. Which is actually how you get the new the new lantern from Koshai. Ow, that hurt. We're holding our own, okay. to get to this tail and cut it off so I can show you guys what happens but I'm okay I'm not gonna die just yet but basically what happens is uh, the after the tail slam with the tail cut off the charog is able to there we go now you'll see hopefully it does it soon Ooh, a th glowing thagomizer I don't even know what that is
exactly. Uh, because of the way that because of the way the heroic charog works as well. It's if it if its parts are unbroken, so like its leg or its arm or its uh, or its vent is unbroken. Ow! I'm gonna die from that. Yep, I burned to death. Anyway, any part that is unbroken will take l a little bit less damage. And you know what? I'm just gonna get myself up. Oh wait, no, it has to be the tail slam. Oh great, the rift is actually empty. We might not actually win this one. I think part of the reason I won last time is the hammer. The other guy was using a hammer. Anyway, uh, the un the unbroken parts. So basically everything right that we that we're dealing with except for the tail right now takes a bit less damage, but it takes extra damage on parts that are broken. That was probably the worst shot of my life in terms of timing. Let's get behind a rock. I know I'm seeing. I know I seem a little cowardly right now because we are really not doing well. We have to. Oh, I am alone here. Okay, good. He had his. He still had a self revive. That got me. At least I got the I got the pylon down so he can heal. But yeah. So the thornbound charog, kinda dangerous. It's not quite as fast as the thornbound shrike is. I mean it's a charog for one thing. Charogs are not known as known for their quickness. But it's also, I think it's a little bit tankier than the Shrike. I've actually covered all the differences, so even if we lose here, I'm okay with that. Because I'm not actually, I know it's been a while since I did like a great, or I know last week I didn't do so great with the Thornbound Shrike where we lost... Actually, did we lose? I don't remember anymore. Anyway, I know we've lost. I know I've lost a couple of hunts here, but at the end of the day, I'm not trying to showcase being a su the supreme hunter or anything. Because frankly, I'm not, and I'm never going to be. I don't want to be. I'm just having fun with this. What I am trying to do, though, is get you guys the information you need so that you can learn to hunt, hunt these things down. So even if I lose, as long as I get the information out, I'm okay with that. That's actually decent water effect. If only it was running at like 60 FPS, like my game thinks it is. As opposed to the, what the recording thinks, where it's like going between 50 and 55, although it dips down to about 45 now and then. Hopefully this guy can actually run the behemoth off, because I would love to be able to show you guys a good kill. Also, like I said, fun thing, those the rolling fireballs, I might have to rethink their name. The fireball attack that the Charog uses, like that. If you're reviving somebody and the fireball's coming at you, make sure that the, pers the person you're reviving is between the two of you. Oh, he actually got it. Well done. As long as he doesn't die on this, die from this. Now the question is, how well can he re can they reach me? Because I'm kind of in a really weird spot. Oh. Not as bad as I thought it was. Get this Everstone real quick. Or Omnistone. Get 
behind a tree, get behind a tree, get behind a tree. And we already pissed it off enough. Okay, also, uh, I, did, I, I did realize one thing about why you should, even with the extra attack it gains, why you should cut off the Thornbound Charog's tail. Because without the, if you cut off the tail like we did, it loses the thorn, the thorns there, so it doesn't do as much damage. It also do a ton of damage, because I mean, it's still, a, this is still a heroic Charog, Charog. I really should have let him revive. I knew he had medic. I just, I wasn't paying attention. I was just thinking about get the get teammate back up. I'm just gonna get this tree between me. Oh god! I will deforest this entire island to save myself from fireballs. Yeah, like I said, the, the Inferno Circle. I'll be honest, he hasn't done the Tail Slam, so we can't... So I haven't been able to show you guys the new attack. Again, just put a tree between you and a fireball, and you're and you're safe. Grab a hit from the rift real quick. I'm only taking the one because I don't need. I don't. I want to save it for my teammates. He really doesn't like our our chain bleed user. Also, the screen just went a little. It was a little dark for me for a bit. I'm dead. Damn it. I just got clumsy there. All of a sudden the screen got brighter. You'd think having flames would make the screen brighter rather than darker, but... Also, you're using a fire weapon here? Well, once again we got one guy to go. This one I'm blaming on myself. I screwed this up. Ah, oh, well. Still, this guy's doing work. And I'm, I swear, the fire thing from the tail is a real thing, it's just that the charge, for some reason, is not actually doing it.
Sorry about the view. I'm trying to get a good angle here, but... Fire vents coming out. Smart move to heal. getting a speed boost from being in this in this aura. But, I mean it makes sense. There you go. that <coughs> we did all right I can write that pretty well all right real quick recap again because the thornbound I don't know I don't know how much this applies to the firebrand charog as well the main difference is between it and the regular charog are the fireball going faster and having a better tracking ability? And I'm not sh again. I'm not sure if on normal it now it phases through the reg through the charog itself. But the fireballs will not collide with the charog at this level. Fire vents. It can now do things beyond just walk it behind beyond turn in a circle. Inferno circle. The fireballs just move faster. Tail swipe. Can it can follow this up with a lunge? The tail slam. It slams once, moves to the side, slams again, and then sl and then swipes the tail for a final hit. The fist slam changes with the thornbound charog at least, which causes bomb pods to spawn, just like with the thornbound strike and just like with Koshai. And then the special note: I know we didn't see it, but if you break the tail on the thorn on this char on the on the Maelstrom Charg, on the Firebrand Charg, and I'm pretty sure on the Thorn... It, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure on the, on the Firebrand. I, I know for a fact on the Thornbound. It gives it a new attack after the Tail Slam, where it just sprays f uh, flame mortar shots over a wide area behind it. Best way to deal with that is just kind of get to the side, or just watch where it's firing. It's not that difficult. But again, that's only if you break the tail. Well, folks, I know we were not successful this week either, but... That's the nature of the that's the nature of the behemoths. If you enjoyed, please sure to like or favorite the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. And if you want to keep up with me, never miss any of my current series, and consider joining the squadron by subscribing to the channel. That does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. As for that, folks, I have been D. The maelstrom is up on us this week, but we'll be back for more of it for some revenge later on. Until then, good night and good gaming.